6 News, live at 5. I still fills the streets, coating trees in a midtown neighborhood. A day later, we are still assessing the damage from a devastating fire. Good evening, I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm John Nicely. Happening locally live at 5, we're tracking new developments in that fire at a former midtown mansion. It was local breaking news at this time yesterday. We showed you the firefighters pouring on the water, working to knock down the flames at the old Metz mansion at 37th and Dewey. The building had been converted to apartments, but was heavily damaged by fire. Part of the building collapsed. It might be a total loss. Today, John Chapman returned to the scene. He continues our coverage 6 July. We are near 37th and Dewey, and the look of this historic neighborhood could soon be changing because fire has damaged one of the landmarks here. Fire crews are still on the scene 24 hours after fire broke out at the Mets mansion. Now the more than 100-year-old building is draped in ice. City officials don't believe this grand building can be saved. The fire used to fight the fire now fills neighborhood streets with ice. City crews drop salt and sand, making the streets safe to drive on again. Kelly Kuzer returns to what was once her home. She brought her father with her. Now she will have to live with him for a while. Everything that we owned was in there. So we had laptops, TVs, all our clothes, everything. It's just we don't have anything now. All our main concern was her and Joe being okay and the dog. And the rest of this stuff can be replaced. It's material stuff. The most important thing is we got her. Kelly and the other tenants can't go inside to see if anything survived the fire. Kelly plans to move on, but she doesn't want to go far from where she lived before the fire. Oh, it was beautiful. It was, we only lived there for two weeks, but we loved it. It was great. It was big. It was bigger than what we were living in before, so it was a huge, huge step for us. So it's sad to see it go so fast. We love this area, so we want to stay around here. That's why we picked this place. But um, we don't know. We were just going to look around the neighborhood. We don't really exactly know what we're going to do yet. Officials are still inspecting the building to see what kind of shape it's in. The fire is still under, the cause of the fire is still under investigation. Reporting live with producer Roger Hamer, John Chapman, WOWT 6 News.